Good morning, it's Friday. My mom came yesterday, which I'm so excited about. She came in last night, which was Thursday night, but she was very jet lagged. So we literally just went out for dinner, called it a night, and I was just enjoying spending time with her. So I didn't pull the camera out, but I am going to film our adventures now. So heading my way over to her hotel, and then we have a full day ahead of us. Started off the day getting a coffee at Gail's with my mama here. We have a brunch reservation at Sunday in Brooklyn in Notting Hill. So we're like walking from Earl's Court up through Kensington and uh, been wanting to try it for a while. I was so hungry I'd dig in before I showed you but got some sort of rice bowl, sausage. Mom got an egg sandwich here. Shot. <laughs> I had to take my mom to Buckingham Palace. Um, don't hate me for saying this, but it's the most like underwhelming building ever. It's just like giant and white. So we had took a very quick photo, and now we're doing more shopping. My mom and I just got back to the hotel. Did a very quick change because we are heading out now to go to a show, which um, I don't know if I've really showed this before. It might be easier in the mirror. So on my arm here, I have a little tattoo of a house and I've had it for years and it represents my favorite song in the entire world is called To Build a Home by the Cinematic Orchestra and Patrick Watson. And Patrick Watson is doing a concert in London tonight. So perfect timing for my mom to be here. We are going out for dinner at the Shoom and then we are going to see the show, which is the BBC Symphony Orchestra and Patrick Watson. And I'm so, so excited. I've never heard my favorite song in the entire world live. So it'll be amazing. Um, we are in a rush, so I'm running quickly, but I did buy a couple things today. I bought a nice uh, new work bag for carrying my laptop and stuff just because the strap on my other one broke and I got that in m &S, so super cheap I'm not really a, a name brand person and then I needed a new pair of white runners so I got these white Pumas on sale look at so that's my my little haul but uh, gotta go I'll update you guys later That show was actually magical like seriously one of the best nights of my life we had seats that were like restricted view so they were only like 15 pounds and I didn't realize how restricted it was going to be like we were basically behind the orchestra and you couldn't see Patrick Watson at all but the whole like front section wasn't entirely full and the first row was completely empty um, like right in front of him so after the first applause my mom was like so mortified like she wasn't going to move but i like ran to sit at the front row and i swear i had the best view in the house and i paid 15 pounds for it i know that's not necessarily like ethical and that wasn't great of me but there was no one sitting in the front row like didn't harm anyone people do that at concerts all the time try and sneak their way up so i did that and so worth it like this is one show that I would make so many exceptions for it. It was just, oh, it was actually unreal. And then of course he played To Build a Home as the encore, but I didn't film any of that because I just needed to like sit there and listen and be in the moment. But I did get some amazing clips of some other songs. So I'll be throwing those in here. So that was first thing. Second thing, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I packed an entire suitcase to bring to my mom's hotel because our train leaves at nine tomorrow for Bruges. So my plan was to stay with her overnight so we could hop in the tube at like 7 a.m. together in the morning. But I forgot my passport because I've not been on a train yet here 
that has been international so it like didn't really cross my mind that i like need my passport so i ended up having to bring my bag all the way back here to get my passport and i could have left my bag with her but also i had like the outfit i was wearing tonight and like what i'm wearing tomorrow all packed so i was like i might as well just wear what i was wearing tonight go it in the wash and wear what i'm wearing tomorrow and have more room in my suitcase so then i could put another outfit or another pair of shoes so it worked out and she gave me a bunch of stuff from canada i had a bit of a, a barking order i found medication like medicine to be very weak in the uk so my mom got me a tylenol extra strength like costco size bottle because that that's good meds when i when i have a headache that that does the trick i asked for uh sour cherry blasters and fuzzy peaches because they're my favorite canadian candy she got me an entire bag full of them so i'm gonna have to share this around with friends because there's no way i can eat all the candy by myself but anyways i had that she had that carried with her anyway so it just made sense for me to bring it here and not take it to bruges to then come back so that's that whole long tangent but yeah such an amazing day so happy to have my mom here it's been really sweet and tonight was very magical so hopefully bruges continues on this high so i will take you along with me starting tomorrow to Bruges and it is so beautiful insanely beautiful we couldn't check into our hotel right away because our room wasn't ready so we just went to the kind of town square and got waffles because of course we're in Belgium had to get Belgian waffles and it was actually unreal and that was around like 3 30 so we just shared one because came back to the hotel got changed and we have dinner reservation at 7 15 so we still have some time, but we're going to do some exploring, wandering around, and eating and drinking Belgian beer. Also, travel outfits for me are very simple because I just wanted to bring a carry-on. So I'm definitely not one to like pack a thousand outfits and do outfit changes when I'm on vacation. So very simple basics that I can wear like over again. You'll see me wear these same pants tomorrow, just black jeans. The sneakers that I bought yesterday, and then I'm wearing like a white shirt, my leather coat, and a Burberry scarf, which I know is very nice, but my dad bought it for my mom like years ago, and she never wears it. So when I was home at Christmas, I was just like, what is that, and can I have it? So, very lucky to have this, but that's the outfit. We went shopping. beer house because obviously we're in Belgium so my mom's not a big beer drinker but I bought you like a, a fruit sort like of a raspberry beer yeah and then I got a trio so I got the fruit one as well and then a blonde and I think this was like a IPA or something but we have the most incredible view Oh, that is. Isn't it good? It tastes like a Rattler or something. A blonde. Blonde for a blonde. I literally did not know that Belgian beer was so strong. I feel like I've been drinking so much in the UK that my tolerance is so high. Then we come here. I have like the flight, like the three things of beer. And after I was looking at my mom and I was like, I'm drunk right now. Like, why am I drunk right now? She's like, oh, Belgian beer is a little stronger. We Google it. 
and it's 9%. Dinner was seriously unreal. So good. Good morning. We got a quick takeaway waffle as we are heading to a walking tour right now about the like hidden gems or historic sites or something of Bruges. So it'll be fun. This waffle's unreal. It's filled with like brown sugar. Um, and then we are standing at one of the oldest hospitals in the world. I don't like coming through the back. Okay, that walking tour was amazing. It was called Adventure Tours of Bruges, and I just booked it on Airbnb. But so worth it. Uh, Pascal was our guide's name, and he was incredible. And he gave us the recommendation for this beer house and their Flemish stew. So we're just stopping for lunch now and enjoying the 8% the beer and stew. This actually looks so good. Not gonna lie, we went back to the hotel and I took like an hour long nap because I've been sleeping terribly lately. So I was too exhausted to enjoy anything. Feeling better now. We're just on our way to a chocolate shop that was recommended by our tour guide earlier. So we'll get a couple chocolates and then also he recommended a waffle bus. So it's already 6.30, but we're gonna share one waffle and then we have a tour of the tower um, during sunset. And then after that, we'll grab something for dinner. We have to go up 300 steps to get to the top. 